A bunch of books down there. Oh, wait a minute. Kill shot. <laughs> what happens in space stays in space. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight we're back in Pollen, rocking out to um, More is More by Accident District over here. Uh, well, actually, we could probably turn that off right now. Uh, so last time we made it back to February 1995, and so we're here in the crew quarters of essentially when we originally arrived at the Titan Research Station. We found Philip Pohl back in the study, and he'd been turned into Black Ash just like Ion back in the uh, airlock space. And we picked up a couple of uh, identification cards. Now, two things we need to do this time. Uh, so here, this is the study. This is this is Philip Pohl, if you don't remember. Uh, is, first of all, read the microfiche, which we'll probably do. And then we're going to go and explore the rooms. Uh, because we now have access cards. And you know what? Let's just set the mood here a little bit. Let's go with... What are the decks? Oh, we don't remember. Let's uh, let's go with. No, that's the city. Jungle. Jungle. All right, so now we're in the jungle. Let's go read some microfiche. Uh, we set the mood a little bit here. Yeah, see, look at the projection screen. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Uh, so I apologize. There's probably going to be quite a bit to read here, but you know, look, uh, I think. We, we, meaning the, the channel and everyone who watches, uh, pride ourselves on really getting into the lore. Or at least I'd like to think so. So let's just, uh, let's just get to it. Global Conference on, and this is all January 1995, so this is one month ago, okay? So, Global Conference on Distribution of Population and Resources, Colonized Space, or Stop Breeding. Berlin, the looming issue of over overpopulation was brought to the foreground as the world's top authorities gathered here oh, i'm sorry this is getting a little hard to read so anyway, gathered here to tackle the growing problem of an earth becoming ever more rapidly overcrowded with recent projections putting the world's population at 9 billion by 2040 many scientists are suggesting that steps start to be taken even now to avert the glo uh, the globe becoming simply too crowded out of the conference have, em have emerged two primary options those g's really look like b's from here Either efforts begin to colonize other planets and moons or impose a global limit on births allowed per family while the latter option per family while the latter option has been con, uh, criticized as draconian and inhumane the subject of space colonization has gather, uh, has garnered some interest although the Europa tragedy has put all future space endeavors in question meanwhile there are some critics that suggest that scientists predictions regarding overpopulation are exaggerated Quote, frankly, I don't know what these egghead scientists are talking about, unquote, says U.S. Senator Jim Davis, Republican of Kentucky. Quote, I look out over my backyard and there is open fields as far as I can see. If there were some sort of overpopulation going on, I think I'd see it. Next article. Research. Extraterrestrial settlements inhabited mostly by working class. The International Society of Sociology has published a report of their research of the societal class in extraterrestrial settlements. The key finding was that most of the people living on other planets or moons represent the working class. This can be seen, as the ISS announces, as a threat to the independence and functionality of the colonies. Next, 10 years of antimatter rockets, lucky accident and virtual particle research led to conquering of space. The breakthrough finding in antimatter rocketry was made 10 years ago, in 1978. A... Oh, A-M-I-T. Mm. Uh, linguistically, it probably should be NMIT, but okay. AMIT graduate Donald Nielsen was working on his thesis on theoretical particle physics when he made a miscalculation on the virtual particle appearance probabilistics. His error remained unnoticed until he used this calculation to calibrate the virtual particle trap. Due to this minuscule error, the trap managed to capture both particle and antiparticle at the same time. This became the basis of the antimatter rocketry, which has propelled us to faraway planets. Yeah, interesting. Uh, I will say one thing, by the way. There's a reason that newspapers aren't printed in all caps, and that's because they are exceedingly hard to read. Uh, I encourage you, if you're curious, to look up uh, type, uh, typography for, for newspapers, because serif, there's a reason that large papers have blocks of text in serifed fonts. That, that means fonts with like little, um, little wingtips or little feet if you want to talk about them. Uh, and that's because in a big block, they're easier to read because you can the eye is more 
capable or better capable of differentiating between letters. Just FYI. Anyway, UNSA Europa accident can cause years of delay in exoplanet exploration. This is still January 95. New York, the United Nations Space Agency provided a bleak forecast of the future of space exploration today, explaining that the Europa tragedy would necessitate an intense review of current safety protocols and mission planning procedures. Quote, every human life is valuable and we can't let lives be risked unnecessarily, explained UNSA Undersecretary General Gertrude Weber. Quote, the science we do in space is important, but it's not more important than the people doing that science. Uh... Gore? Or? Ah, fine. For that reason, we will be reviewing all of our safety standards for future missions. While missions to planets beyond our solar system have been in the planning stage for many years now, some experts question the safety and feasibility of these expeditions even before the disaster on Europa. Quote, we're trying to do too much too fast and too soon, says Professor Brian Woodall of the California Institute of Technology. The UNSA has been acting like a child on Christmas morning, too excited to start playing with its new toy and not bothering to read the instructions. It's no wonder something like Europa happened. We should be working on our understanding of our new technologies before racing off the plant flags in every rock we can find. Professor Woodall believes the UNSA's review of safety measures is, quote, a step in the right direction. However, he feels they should be putting all future missions on indefinite hold before a worse disaster unfolds. Quote, we shouldn't even be thinking about something as complex as an interstellar mission at this point. That's like trying to sprint before we can even crawl. Next, memorial to be placed on Europa for the research who, researchers who perished in the accident. UNSA, Rama Industries, and Lem Transplanetary Hauling Company have decided to erect a memorial for the scientist who died in the accident in the research base on Europa last year. The memorial would consist of around 200 sculptures of symbolic scientific ideas, one for each victim of the accident. The material for the statue is planned to be so bright it will eventually be visible from the spaceships passing Jupiter's orbit close enough. Next, Europa mission data inter, uh, interpreting in halt. In halt stochastic simulations take years with modern computers. Sorry about that. The analyzing of the raw data from the Europa mission is going to take much longer than expected. The initial results are already in, but the scientists want to apply the recent improved hidden Markov model to the data to find out unexpected relations between the items. This procedure is 50 time is so time consuming that it would take years to completely analyze the full expedition data with modern supercomputers. And G5 countries demand India join free energy trade agreement. The group of five greatest energy consuming countries, G5, are demanding India to join their free energy trade agreement, FIDA. This is a great opportunity for India to bring its energy production capabilities into common knowledge, comments the energy minister of the Soviet Union. We can see only positive outcomes to both India and G5 countries if the energy can be traded free from additional taxes. India has hesitated the joining for decades. Their minister of natural resources told us yesterday what happened to Brazil. The Amazon is damned, sick, the forests are burnt, for what? Now they have free American cable TV in every house. It may sound great, but replays of old sitcoms really can't substitute the freshness of the air they lost with the forests. But what does India have against the army of free traders? Waiting on its borders, ready to take over the rivers and jungles of the third biggest country in the world. Okay. Uh, I think this would be the last page. Uh, let's just move it up a little bit. There we go. First Oscar for Roger Hauber. The Newsreader is the third film ever to win the Big Five. 25 years after his first of eight nominations, Roger Hauber got his first golden boy. His role in the Newsreader was so strong that the betting companies gave him odds as small as 1.03, and he did not... Really? And he did not gain his Oscar for pity. The Newsreader is by far the best American film of the decade, and it deserves all the Big Five Oscars. Best movie, best script, best directing, best lead actor, and actress. It won the film. It won. The film is a comedy, Oscar for Mona Lake, about a Channel 5 newsreader, Oscar for Millie Bright, uh, Grace, who gets a hint of a fraud. Gets a hint of a fraud in the Ministry of Health. When searching for further information, she starts to collaborate with a janitor, Oscar for Roger Halbin, of the Ministry, who turns out to be a savant genius. Together, they solve the mystery and save the lives of millions of diabetic Americans. 
The film was directed and produced, director for both, uh, Oscars for both, by winners of five Oscars, Jane Lupino. Manchester 1996 Olympic Games endangered by global doping crisis. The 1996 Olympic Games could be canceled due to the huge global doping scandal. Over 320 athletes from over 51 countries have given a positive sample during the last three months. The new secret testing method surprised dozens of medical research companies manufacturing supplemental nutrients for the athletes. Accident District and Polly Dagger to play together in ACMH New Year concept. The first rock band on the moon is... Hey, Accident District, great. The first rock band on the moon is joining forces with the biggest country star on Earth. Accident District and Polly Dagger will play a special New York uh, concert in Radio City Music Hall. Quote, I'm really looking forward to get to sing high and loud, said Polly. Working with these young talents has opened my eyes to the new mainstream. She continued, this gives us huge opportunities, comment AD's lead guitarist, the fastest in the system, Klaus Weber. Really? We will perform together and sing both Polly's and our songs, he slipped. Now, Moonwalkers win the first Moonball, trademark, championship. Oh my goodness. Lunar won. The atmosphere was electric as fans filled the stadium here with deafening cheers. While there was originally uncertainty in the young sport, Moonball could compete with old Earth favorites such as football and baseball for fans' attention, the first ever Moonball championship has certainly settled the matter once and for all. The Moonwalkers walked over their rivals, the Space Monkeys, to a resounding 12-3 victory in a match that broke records for space-based sports viewership. Almost the whole colony filled the stadium as excited fans watched Moonwalkers offensive driller Will Hart drive home goals with the elegance that has come to be associated with the low-gravity sport. When asked how it felt not only to win the championship, but also take home the MVP award, Hart said, had this to say, quote, It's amazing, it's all incredible, and I'm honored, but I couldn't have done it without my teammates. And... And that's it. Cool. Uh, well, alright, that's interesting. A little alternative uh, universe slash retro future news. A little world building, but you know, not not too much information, except a few more cryptic uh, explanations of what may or may not have happened on Europa. But you know, I don't think we've quite found out what. All right, now when we saw this in the future, this was filled with like trash, because I'm assuming Karen, there was just no way to get rid of that stuff. And now it's all neat and orderly, and there's not much to be seen here. No. Okay, let's go upstairs. Let's see what the uh, whoops, what the crew quarters have to offer. That's just a chair. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's the kitty litter box. Okay. So let's just make sure we got uh, Philip Pole, Karen Kowalski, and Ion Lem, and then we have this which we picked up downstairs from the table. No, oh, give me that. Which is, I guess, sort of a map of the plan. Okay. Uh, eye on Lem. Come on, man. Nice. Oh. Okay, so we have to hold that in there. Accident District. Yeah. Is this... Right, cool. Ooh. Look at that. Okay, so he's got another one of these uh, coins for the vending machine. I don't know if we have to get anything for the vending machine, because that, I think that's the machine. But I don't know if we need to, like, use anything here. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll check that out later. Uh, what's this? Ooh, a recruitment pass. Uh, Ion Lem, home planet Earth, place of employment Titan, assistant physicist, manager, Amanda Pohl, signature required. Contract start, contract end. Oh, he was going to end at the end of the year. Cool. Oh. Whoa. Okay. A little clipping action there. Uh, Vasily Romanchek, savior of Europa Expedition uh, results. Really? He was the one. Interesting. Work on another planet. With Rama Industries, you can. All kinds of professionals needed. Excellent salary. All benefits during the two-year period. Fill the coupon and drop it in the nearest mailbox to know more. And that's the... Um, that bumblebee, or that bee symbol, is the symbol for the game, is the logo for the game. Send me the Rama Industries recruitment package. Okay. Lem Company, that's the other one that was on Europa. Fast and safe shipments. <laughs> At reasonable prices to any planet, moon, or asteroid in the solar system. Call our sales department uh, when you when your goods need transportation. Okay. 
Cool, so Vasily is the guy who saved the Europa results. Uh, Lem Company. Stephen Lem, CEO, Lem uh, Transplantary Hauling Company. Ion, I hope you're well. If you truly believe in this research, then I can respect that. However, if this is just another one of your little adventures following in the footsteps of your childhood hero, that would be a disappointment. When you return, there will be an open position ready for you here in LTHC. Regardless, you make your own decisions. Sincerely, Stephen Lem. Interesting. So I don't know if they're trying to poach him or what, but maybe. Free time. Ooh. So this is like another magazine. Fuck punk, we rock the sky rock. 128 pages and 16 mega posters. To be the first to play in space. Cool. Um <laughs> They kinda look like a space based for space based version of either Motorhead or um what do you call it? Or Guns N' Roses, sort of. Old Baikonur Cosmodrome, September 9th, 1993. Cool. That's cool. And, of course, Ant Pyramid Records. Another... I don't know if there's, like, a thing with bugs going on in this game, but that's fine. Is rare? The science behind Moonball. Okay. Come here. If being from Earth... Uh... No? Come on. Sorry, I'm just trying to, like, not have it stand up, because that, you know, that freaks me out. Okay. Uh, what's this? Unisex underwear. Okay. Alright, whatever. Listen. Whatever. Uh, somebody's bored. <laughs> somebody's really bored. Ooh. Um, oh man, look at all these tapes. Please tell me we can play all these tapes. Uh, for the rescue team. No, we've listened to that one. For some reason, some of these reset, uh, when I load up the game. Let's see, what's this? Electric dynamite. Alright, let's see what this says. Nice. Alright. Things have gone south here on Titan. Dr. Romanchek's dead, killed as he tried to destroy something we've been studying for over a year. The others were in the room too. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Stop it. Uh, the, other, uh, the others were in the room too when it kind of exploded, but he was the only one who died, vanished, or something. Since he is gone and the science has turned lethal, I don't want to stay here anymore. Dad, send me a shuttle to take me home. I'd be happy to join LTHC. Oh, I didn't even put that together. I didn't even put that together. He's Ion Lem. And this is Lem Company, Stephen Lem being the sea. Oh my goodness. He's, uh, <clears throat> he's from money. Okay, so he he's gonna go join the family biz. That's fine. Okay. Let's just go ahead and listen to this last tape while we look at all the other stuff. Uh, employee manual. Cool. Uh, how to take uh, make friends and influence people. Oh, that's his book. Okay. What else we got here? Yeah! Alright. Rock, man. Uh, channel selected for, like, the radio. Di okay. That guy all the way on the right, that's basically Space Lemmy. Tell me I'm wrong, right down to the whiskey. Although that kind of looks like Slash. But that's Space Lemmy, okay? Just FYI. Um, and he was obviously packing because he really wanted to go. Company veteran for 20. No? Is there nothing under it? No? Okay. A bunch of books down there. Oh, wait a minute. Kill shot. <laughs> what happens in space stays in space. Is that... Um, weird. Uh, is that... Is that a... Uh, um, Karen? It can't be Karen. Shame on you, Karen. You have... Well, maybe her husband might pass away. Oh, uh, the bathroom. Okay, we got water. Got the old toothpaste. I don't know what I... Okay. Um, easy. Oh. Interesting. I think this may not be a water shower, or maybe it is, but it's like a misting shower. Okay. The old flusheroo. 
Alright, there's not much here. Alright, cool. So he's really into the musics. I gotta say, um, I do enjoy I do enjoy a good accident district song. Because I'm I mean, they sound nothing like uh, Motorhead. They sound more like GNR. But okay. I like GNR. It's good. Alright, let's open the door, let's take the key, and let's continue on snooping around other people's rooms. Uh, Vasily Romanchek, I don't have his card. Phil Pohl, here we go. Uh, this is more sparse, slash better, better lit. Okay, let's see what we got here. Vasily wants to stop entity research. He contacted Rama already. What do you think? I'm assuming that maybe, um, his wife wrote that? Oh, wow. This is, uh, a thing. Okay, here we go. Future experiments. Sample for age dating. Done. Reaction to electrical charge, electromagnetic readings, anti-grav, Galga readings, spectrum analysis, chemical analysis, communication, quote, uh, question mark. Sound, light perception, resonance, radiation. Bose test. Growth cycle. One, two, three, four, five. That's six. Combine this with exponential spread and part equals whole. Uh, you know what? Just, uh, you're going to hear a little rustling on the side. I'm going to go ahead and, and, I mean, it's not anything new, but, you know, we're going to follow standard, standard adventure game protocol here and just copy that down real quick. Because that seems like something that might be important. Okay, that's page one. Dating methods. Carbon radiometer. <laughs> Dinner in a movie. Be serious. <laughs> Dating methods. Core samples of cave and surface sample of the object added to the schedule. Update. Object seems to be older than surrounding bedrock. Add DNA to the next shipment? Question mark. A. Mineral. B. Li alpha. Mineral. Beta. Living. Gamma, I think. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Yeah. Gamma, construct, artificial, or delta, all of the above. Ridiculous. Are you serious? Okay. Hive dynamics. Entity reacts when sample is handled. Rise in cell slash pattern activity. Reaction to anti-grav and electric shock. Main entity reacts to sample before it's administered to sample? Question mark. Whoa. Okay. We got to, like, wiggle it around a little bit. Here we go. Uh... So where is the B? Mineral structure, random pattern, maybe this is an egg, human cytoembryo, a stem, natural bee honeycomb, not mineral. I guess, I guess they have it influencing the bees now. Great. Methods for estimating the volume of a non-rigid crystal structure, right? Uh, measuring organic crystal structures. So this is all about the entity now. I get it. Sort of. Uh, three of us remain, Tech, Karen, Tech, Cal, oh, Tech Kowalski, I guess, was killed, disappeared two weeks ago, conclusion, destroying the entity, sending data to Earth, I guess this is him, like, trying to write the letter, or starting to work on the letter, um, I was thinking, by the way, that the reason he might be in the study is he started writing the letter, and then just couldn't figure it out, remember there's the, the one, the, the, the other clipboard that like has all the, the, the preamble sentences crossed out. Maybe he couldn't think of something and then he went to the study to like get inspiration. It's a thought, right? Uh... Uh... That... I don't know what the... Uh... How sad... I don't know. I don't know how what, what university that is. Sorry. I don't know how to read that. <laughs> Be it known that Philip Pohl, having satisfied the requirements of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Material Science, in recognition we represent the seal of the university and the signature authorized by the council. Housatonic University. Oh my god. Kind of a H.P. Lovecraft re reference because Miskatonic University, given to uh, given at Newburyport, November twenty first, nineteen ninety one. He's a doctor of material sciences, not that far off. Three years post doc. Okay. Three years. Sorry, four years. Oh, there's another tape back there. Interesting. 
Uh, Connecticut Technical University, having demonstrated that enough doctor philosophy given at Hartford the second day of June. Uh, okay, fine. Put that there. It's another tape. Yeah, definitely listen to that. Thank you. Okay, some sort of thing. Is there anything behind? No. Easy. Okay. Uh, I like these electric toothbrushes. They're kind of neat. Okay, so that's not happening. Let's take a look in his closet. The last thing we're going to do for the episode, by the way, is probably listen to that tape we just found. Unless there's another tape, in which case, then eh, probably not the last thing. Uh, see? That's what I'm talking about. There's now two tapes. These two tapes we got to listen to. More. Whoa, easy. Effects of moon phases and effect in multiple moons in electroplanetary systems. Fine. Uh, research summary, 1994. These are the substructure of the research subject ENT1 on Titan, Kraken, Mare. Effects of the subject on the physical structure and el of elements around it. Interesting. Uh, these are probably like clothing, unisex underwear, fine. What is this? It's a key. Okay. Beekeeping. My wife, astrobiologist, Dr. Amanda Pohl. Okay, let's put that over there. Home planet Earth, Titan Research Lead, Amanda Pohl. Amanda Pohl is his manager. Hilarious. Okay. So those are the two. Let's just go and check out the last. Let's check out Karen's room. Oh, wait, 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 Karen. Oh, that's the thing that eventually makes it down into the gym. Because, like, a thing. Jessica, Ethan! <laughs> Mom. Nice. Dear Karen, Kids are doing great. They miss you. The view from our trip has been, has been striking, although I can't begin to imagine how it compares to yours. Hope you are safe. The kids can't wait to be held by their mommy again. Love, Grandma, Ethan, and Jessica. I guess this is what she was responding to in the letter that we found later on. Ah, uh, she's just counting the days, huh? Whoops. No, no, no. Come on. Put it on the wall. No? Fine. Home. Oh, because she's going January 9th. I see. Put that down. What's this? Uh, engineering kit. Fine. I'm just throwing stuff around, but yeah, okay, fine. Uh, these are the photos we saw of Ethan and uh, Jessica. These are the ones that she put on the bed. Remember? In the uh, weird, dark, void future. Uh, let's see what's down here. Oh, okay, Peter Kowalski, I see. Nancy George, he and her family. And this is going to be, yeah, how to handle loss. Okay. Um, before we go and take a look at her table and take a look at the bathroom, is there anything here? No, it's just like, a for the sake of completeness, there have to be bathrooms. Because you would, you would expect there to be bathrooms. Oh, check it out. This is her response to that, uh, postcard. Dear Jessica and Ethan, I got your card. It was delightful to see your faces again. I hope you're enjoying your time with Grandma. I'm here at the Rings of Saturn. Remember when we saw the Saturn at the observatory? This is so very far from home and I miss you so much. Don't forget to play, draw, and sing. Uh, but if Grandma asks for your help... Okay. So this is the when, the when she then started writing like all sorts of sad things. To Ethan and Jessica. Three tapes. I don't think we're going to be able to listen to all these tapes, guys. We're probably going to have to start the next episode by listening to these tapes. Karen, you look so, so serious in this photo. Family photo, Karen. Come on. Uh, employee manual, Rama Industries product catalog, Risa maintenance guide. Uh, although I guess she is the tech, right? So she should know how to fix these things. Okay, here we go. On planet Earth, Amanda Pohl, Titan technician. Okay. Another tape, Karen's Therapy. Ooh, we are now at four tapes. Okay, this is definitely going to be... Next episode is going to be definitely like a listening party for us. Whittier High School since 1903. Leading school in the solar system, asterisk. Measured by rowing championships. 
The multicultural, re, uh, religion-neutral, and equal opportunity Whittier High School is the best investment you can make in your child's future. Our liberal values emphasize science, arts, and sports. We believe that a human is a freeborn psychophysiosocial being that flourishes by advancing at an individual pace. We offer the best value liberal education in the country, unique courses in the ethics, aesthetics, and mindfulness, quality in all aspects, accommodations, and vintage dormitories. One of those new age feel gooderies, if anybody's ever watched uh, Arrested Development. The Salem School for Girls. Since 1773, the premier choice in education. Salem School for Girls. For over 200 years, we have instilled in our girls a launch, a launch pad for their careers. We can't among our alumni, many of the world's most powerful women. We instill in our girls the values and disciplines and resourcefulness, the keys to success. Our values prevail by honesty, outperform competitors by the virtue of knowledge, present superior knowledge through appearance. Through appearance. Live, acor live according to your values, never cease to learn. So, clearly Jessica's going to like a school for the gifted, and Ethan is a little misanthropic, and he needs kind of like one of these more open-ended education systems okay that's cool uh so that takes care of the rooms i imagine we can't yeah we don't have a key so we are missing a key for amanda's room and vasily's room and that's it that's more kitty litter up here okay so we'll cut it there uh, when we come back next time, we will listen to all of these, like, 1995 circuit tapes that then ended up being... I like that. I guess this half is, like, actual tapes, and this half is, like, recorded over tapes. Right? They one for one? Wait a minute. That's cool. These are one for one. So, like, this tape is this tape, this tape is this tape recorded over, this tape is this tape recorded over, that sort of stuff. Anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Let's me know that I'm doing something. Wait a minute. How do I get that? How do I get that? Um, all right. Hopefully I can get that at some point. That B, game, uh, that B toy. Also, how did it get up? Well, I guess somebody tossed it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know that, I, uh, that I'm doing something right and that uh, you want to see more of this stuff. If you think I'm overlooking something, if you want uh, to see something different, if you want me to do something different in this in this game, like, I don't know, maybe not reading everything, uh, by all means, comment, let me know. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I will see you all next time. Better, 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 better